Welcome to Chile Expat Family. I am Jim Dorchak. I live and work in Chile, South America, homesteading off-grid in beautiful northern Patagonia. I sell real estate, consult with people interested in moving to Chile, and I have a small catering and barbecue sauce business. My wife Lori and I rent our cabana and host guests year-round. You can contact me at Properties of Chile at gmail.com. This is a Toyota uh, Land Cruiser. It's called in the United States here. It's called a Prado. It's a 2007 model. This car right now in Chile is worth about $10,000. Yeah. Right around, I would say between eight and $10,000. Uh, it is the top end Toyota. It's a V6 engine, fuel injected, EFI, electronic fuel injected, automatic. Okay. It has been an outstanding car. It pulls, it, it, it's got lots of power. Um, it's 14 years old and it's starting to have a few issues. Now, Chileans and uh, in general, don't throw things away. They don't. Yeah. And what they do is they fix them forever. All right. Um, as, as much as they can, where this doesn't make sense anymore. And my car is in fairly good condition. It's got a few issues, but right now, right now, the big issue with my car is that it has problems with the transmission. Uh, it's got what they call runaway transmission which means it's jumping out of drive and uh, it needs to be repaired so what I plan on doing is so what I plan on doing is tomorrow I'm shipping this vehicle to Valparaiso which is about 14 hours north Santiago is about 12 hours north of me uh, maybe 12 and a half and then from there to the coast of Valparaiso I'm guessing another two hours I've never been to Valparaiso don't really want to go to Valparaiso um, I have a good friend there he's a really good guy um, Francisco Aguirre and he has a shop and he rebuilds transmissions he works on Porsches, Maseratis, BMWs, Mercedes Toyotas, Fords, Chevys. He works on everything, but he works on good stuff too. And I, I, this is the nicest car I've ever had. And I've, I've had, I've driven a Mercedes for quite a while. My, my family had some Mercedes and, and uh, the high end stuff. And I think this car is just as nice as the Mercedes is as far as durability goes. And the, the cost of parts, the cost to fix it, and all that good stuff. Well, Herein lies my problem. I, I want to keep this car, and I just as soon take the transmission out and get a new one, or a used one even, right? But the problem with that is, here in Chile, you don't know the quality of the transmission you're getting to make it kaput. And in Chile, manual transmissions are the rule of thumb. So, uh, everybody has manuals. And, and, uh, say what you want but it's okay you replace the clutch and you have a new transmission typically with those cars but with an automatic transmission it's an unknown thing and that scares to lane so they don't work on them uh and the ones that do work on them just say they work on them okay they don't really work on them. and i don't want to take any chances so i'm going to drive this car tomorrow to osorno about 45 minutes away put it on a car carrier and have it shipped up to Valparaiso. I'm anticipating it's going to take about four weeks to fix the car, but I don't know for sure. And I, I'm not really worried about it because, you know, in all honesty, Thomas, Lori and I, we don't really go anywhere. We, it's so beautiful here. We don't really go anywhere. We won't miss it for the next three weeks, four weeks. Um, so in either case, I have, uh, some um, distant family, uh, my son's in-laws, and they're loaning me their car 
when they have an older model of this same car, the, the Prada, okay? This is four-wheel drive, four-door, air-conditioned, leather seats, uh, DVD, radio, it's heated seats, everything. And everything inside is in pretty good condition. It's just, it's just getting a little worn. Um, so I'm going to send it up to Francisco, and uh, I'll take you guys along a little bit to see how it goes, how you get your car fixed. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, wow, why don't you just get another car? Well, I don't have any money, okay? And if you don't have money, you fix what you got, and you call it a day. And, and you save your money to fix it as best you can. And I really am appreciative of some people that are helping me out with, with doing that. So, um, uh, rather than trash the car, get rid of it. I love this car. I don't really want a new car. A new car is $40,000, $50,000. Well, I make about $11,000 a year. And for me, this car works. Why do I need a new car if this one works? Actually, Thomas and I... We want a 1950 Ford F1 pickup truck, carbureted. If we could get one that was diesel, we'd love that too. Or a Dodge Power Wagon, wouldn't we, Thomas? The other choice is the same vehicle, the 1980 model, which they have here in Chile, or 82 even, which was diesel. And it looked like, a, they called it the Trooper, a Troop Carrier, not a Trooper, I'm sorry. And it was really cool too. Um, we just want something that's durable that works for us. This is comfortable, it's reliable, <coughs> and we drive it really hard. Uh, we do. It's like our little tractor, actually. We've, we've actually pulled things like a, a drag around that field to cover the grass seed. We've pulled trees out of the woods. We've pulled people out of the woods. We've pulled cars and trucks, and it's really a good car. So, anyways, there's the beginning of the video. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I don't know what time it's going tomorrow. I'll probably uh, drive, meet the guy around 1 o'clock. I'm guessing we're going to find out at 10 a.m. And uh, anyhow, hopefully it gets there okay to you. I appreciate all you're doing here, okay? Okay, Francisco, here's my car. Probably be a couple videos. This is the passenger side. There is a scuff. Ship your car somewhere. You really need to make sure you shoot a video of it before you send it off on the road so that if the trucking company uh, dents or scratches or breaks or steals or whatever, you have a detailed video of your car that can be contested. So what I did is I did an outside shots of the of the car, inside shots of the car, the tires, everything, the mileage. I, I actually truncated the video a good bit because it just kind of goes on and on. But uh, I wanted to show you guys how to go about doing that. Um, not just for here for the United States if people ever ship a car as well. The other reason I shot the video is I wanted to show all the problems that I'm having. Little knickknacks and punch list items in my car for Francisco because he's kind of one of those detailed guys and wants to know what I think about. Okay, like here, this little weather stripping's missing here, and um, little scratch, little dent here, plastic loose, something to that effect under the engine. Yeah never changed that fluid, have changed that fluid there, um, and never changed that fluid, that's a brand new battery. So these things all make a big difference to him because he watched this video and had it in his hands before he ever caught my car. So when he pulled the car off the car carrier up in Valparaiso, he was able to look at my car and say, okay, everything's here. They didn't switch the battery out on Because they have the keys, they have everything in the car. They, how are you going to get your car back? So, uh, And I'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like once Francisco gets everything taken care of. And I know he will. He's really, really good. So here you go. So here I am today waiting at a gas station, truck gas station on Route to Cinco, which is the Trans-American Highway, uh, just north of Osorno. 
and my car, which is my Toyota, which you see behind us, is getting shipped to Valparaiso today. So I'm here waiting on the truck company to come and get my vehicle to have the transmission rebuilt. Um, it's a nice day actually, a little overcasty. But he is coming from uh, San or he's coming from Port Mont. We've been playing uh, let's go now. No, I can't go till three o'clock. No, let's go now stuff canceling till next week it's really quite frustrating a little bit of truck noise while well, I'm in the truck stop so what do you expect anyhow I'll give you an update here in a minute something interesting is is that uh, a friend of mine has offered to drive my car back from Valparaiso uh, to save me a little money but the fact is is that if I put my car on the truck and bring it back it's going to cost me about 200 and thousand pesos to 250 thousand pesos if i were to drive my truck back or my car back that i'm leaning against or pay somebody to do it they would pay about 380 dollars or pesos 380 thousand pesos just for the tolls <laughs> So I'm a lot cheaper putting it on a truck to get there and back than I am driving it up, actually. It's about 14 hours north of me. Um, so the car will actually go to Santiago, and from there they'll put it on another trucking company's truck and take it over to Valparaiso. So we'll see what happens. Soy James Dorchek. Este mi auto acá y lo llevo yo, Alexis, me lo llevo yo a Santiago para quedar en el sitio de la empresa que queda en noviciado. Bueno. Jim, this guy is the best guy when it comes to automatic transmission. That's a BMW transmission he is rebuilding. He has a lot of work. He has like a month of work. He has a... He has to see a Montero today, he has a lot of work. Okay, Jim, it's not fuel pressure, maybe it's flow. We're going to change the filter, but at least it's not the pump. Well, I'm gonna talk a little bit over uh, some pictures here from Francisco uh, of his business and what he does. There's a generator that he's working on, saved uh, doing that for the military, I believe. but. Here's the, the thing for my friends. They put up a GoFundMe without asking me. And um, I really appreciate it. This is going to cost me uh, around $3,500, $3,500 in that range. And in all honesty, I just don't have the money. And I'm willing to accept that. I would have saved the money over uh, the next six, seven months. But... Uh, <clears throat> my friends, they knew that I used my car to help other people. And some of them are them or those people too. And I have. And because of that, I use my car to help the people who are in our gringo group here and on our gringo group online. And they wanted me to be able to continue to do what I do. Uh, knowing full well that I would never approve of it, they did it anyways. So... I really appreciate everything they did. If you're interested in donating, God bless you. I really, really thank you. Um, it's such a burden for us, um, and uh, uh, we've already got a thousand one hundred and fifty dollars as of today. The car is actually being uh, worked on as we speak. Um, 
uh, which is wonderful for him to do that with no guarantee of getting paid, and he knows that. Uh, he is just a wonderful guy. I can't speak highly enough as well of Teresa Abney and Joshua and Jeremy and Luke and other people in our in our chat group. Um, but I also want you to know about Francisco who's helping me with the car. I sent the car up to him because he does such excellent work. Um, and that's why I included his contact. Uh, as a added bonus, I have asked Francisco to video the process of what he's going through so you guys can see how this gets done here. Uh, I don't trust anybody that I know in the south of Chile to do this job. I've sent about four or five of my clients and customers and friends and family and, uh, to Francisco and his service is outstanding. So that's why uh, I use him. He knows what he's doing. So thank you again. So I know you're wanting an update on what's going on with the car. He's had it for about two weeks. He does not believe that it's a transmission. Uh, it may be something worse, it may be something better. <coughs> he, he's tending it towards this a fuel problem, which means it's not getting enough fuel to the engine, and it causes a transmission, not the RPM that it needs to be able to shift gears, and it drops out of gear. Uh, so he's doing all types of tests on it. He's found some problems um, uh, along the way, and he's fixed those problems as well. Uh, so I'm happy for that. These pictures that you're seeing here is I videoed the car before I sent it up to him and sent all these videos to him so he would know the condition of my car before it got on the truck and make sure everything was safe. And I would recommend that you do that too if you send your car to any shop.